I have a very special secret. I'm the only one who knows about tiny people living in our walls called the Littles. This is where the instruments picked up the heartbeats, Dr. Hunter. Good. If any littles come back this way, they'll be temporarily out of commission <laughs> when they breathe this chemical. Then when we return and administer the antidote, I'll have a healthy living specimen to show the world. Uh-oh. I'd better report this to Civil Defense Headquarters. This is Popkins in Outpost 4. Dr. Hunter just sprayed a chemical into the drain by the football field. Uh, Roger, we'll have the area sealed off right away. Emergency! The emergency! Chemical contamination in Sector 4. Alert all littles and secure all roads! Okay, you guys, this place is secure. Let's get out of here! We can't get to the football field now. And all because that no good Dr. Hunter sprayed some silly chemical. Wait a minute. Maybe we can play. But what about the poison? Don't worry, Lucy. Your big brother's got it all under control. Look like Tom and Lucy's bikes. Oh no, they're playing in the danger zone. Tom, Lucy, <laughs> you're exposing yourself to Hunter's chemical. I have a very special secret. I'm the only one who knows about tiny people living in our walls called the Littles. Don't try to talk, Helen. The ambulance is here to take you to the clinic. Well, how is she, Dr. Marley? Hmm. Her parts is weak, very weak. Will she get better? 
hard to say, Lucy. It all depends on if we get the antidote in time. Just tell me where it is, Doc. I'll fly there in my plane and be back in a flash. I wish it were that easy, Dinky. But I don't know what the antidote is. Analyzing chemicals is more than our clinic is capable of. Then where do we have to take her? The only place with the equipment and staff that can do the job. It's right over our heads. The Biggs Clinic? I'm afraid so. But we can't take Helen there. It's forbidden. He's cute, Mrs. Evans, but not your type. Why, Henry Big, if I didn't promise your parents I'd look after you... Tom, Lucy, you in there? What's the matter? It's all our fault, Henry. What's your fault? Our mom is sick and we caused it. If we hadn't been playing where we weren't supposed to, she never would have breathed in that chemical. Easy, Lucy. We'll think of something to help Mom. But the doctor says there's nothing we can do. Gosh, I know how bad you both must feel. If I could, I'd be sick instead of her. That wouldn't make us feel better, Henry. We love you, too. Wait a minute. I think that would make us feel better. Tom Little, how could you say such a thing? Don't you get it, Lucy? If Henry pretended to have mom's symptoms, he could go to the big clinic and the doctors would prescribe the antidote for him. That's a great idea. Don't worry, I'll take care of everything. Oh, Mrs. Evans, I don't feel so good. What? My goodness, you're burning up. I think I've been poisoned. It was some kind of chemical in the field where I was playing. Oh, I'll call an ambulance. Don't worry, he'll be here. And it'll work. I know it will. Just relax, young man. The doctor will be here in a minute. Everything's set. The doctor will be here any second. I told you he'd make it. We can't just have the doctor check you out, Henry. We've got to be able to communicate with you in case Mrs. Little's condition changes. But how can I talk to you without the doctor catching on? That's what we need. Give me that tubing, Henry. What's this for, Grandpa Little? It worked like a talkie tube. Right. We can relay messages from Dr. Motley to Henry. But I can't talk into that tube without the doctor spotting me. That's precisely why one of us will have to hide under your pillow and whisper the messages. I'll do it. It's the least I can do for Mom. That's real heroic of you, Tom. I'd have volunteered myself, but I, uh, had to stick around to consult with Dr. Motley. Great grasshoppers. The tube's too short. What do we do? There's only one thing we can do. Right! Forget the whole thing! Wrong. You've got to go out there and run relay between here and the other end of that tube. Wait! Let me in! I'm too young to get stepped on! Shh! It's the doctor. You must be Henry Big. Uh-huh. What seems to be the problem, Henry? Uh, I, uh... Oh, no! We forgot to tell Henry what's wrong with Mom! Tell Henry that his muscles are getting stiff and he's having a hard time breathing. He is? Gee, he looked perfectly fine a second ago. He is fine, you idiot. Those are Helen's symptoms. Oh, yeah. I'll take care of it. Well, Henry, what's wrong? Tell Henry he's got sore feet and his muscles need bending. No, no. His muscles aren't breathing and his breath is bad. I, I mean... Oh, wait a minute. I got it. He can barely move, and he's having trouble breathing. Will do, Dinky. You're having trouble moving and can't breathe well. Oh, uh, 
I'm having trouble breathing and I can't move very well. Mm-hmm. Say ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Huh? Grandpa! Henry said ah! Uh. Wait, maybe that's not the right tune. Uh. 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 Ask you, Beetle Brain. I don't know exactly how to say this, Henry, but you look perfectly healthy to me. That can't be. I, I breathed in some chemical. I'm very sick. <coughs> okay, Henry. If there's any chemical in you, a blood test should tell us what it is. Blood test? What test? Blood test? There. I'll have it analyzed and be back in a little while. If you need me, just press the call button. She took my blood. I couldn't stop her. She'll find out Henry's pretending for sure. Our plan is ruined. No, Lucy. It's working better than you planned. Nurse, get me a syringe. We've got to take some blood from Mrs. Little. The big doctor know what's in mom's blood if they're analyzing Henry's. Simple. All we do is put this into Henry's blood, and they'll analyze your mom's at the same time. Quick, go into the Biggs lab and pour this into Henry's test tube. Here, hold this. Oh, I can't stand the sight of blood. No problem, Grandpa Little. The sight of blood doesn't bother me a bit. <laughs> Dinky? Dinky? Yeah, doesn't bother me a bit. Come on, Dracula. We've got work to do. No, Grandpa, it's our duty. He's right, Grandpa. It's all our fault. Tom? Lucy? Yes, Mother? Please, stay here. Dr. Lamont wants us analyzed as soon as possible. We've got to get that guy out of the lab before we can make the switch. I think I see our answer, Dinky. Come on. All set, Grandpa Little. <laughs> and pour this into Henry's blood. No problem. What are you doing, Dinky? Just checking out this microscope. Boy, does it make things bigger. And you're making me madder. Now get going. I'm going, I'm going. Here it is. Henry Big. <laughs> Hey, I'm stuck! We don't have time to play space pilot, you nincompoop! Get that thing off! Hey, Grandpa Little! What are you doing there? Dinky, when I get my hands on you... Now get going! I'm going, I'm going! Hurry, Dinky! My foot! It's caught! Dinky! He's coming right for us! I can't get my foot unstuck.
Everything's taken care of. We made the switch without a hitch. Hey, that rhymes. Switch without a hitch. We made the switch without a hitch, and then we ditched into the ditch. And if you don't shut your stupid trap, I'm gonna wrap you on your cap. I feel so cold. Just relax, Mrs. Little. We're doing everything we can. We're sorry for what we did, Mom. We'll make it up to you honest. You'll be all right, Mom. You've got to be. Will she be okay, Doctor? She's getting weaker. I hope that big doctor can find the antidote soon. Psst. Doctor's coming. Hurry, we've got to get back into position. Henry, I've got your test. There is a small amount of poison in your blood. Unfortunately, I'm not an expert on this particular chemical. However, I do know someone who is, and he's on his way here now. Did you hear that? They'll find the antidote and Mom will be okay. I hope so, Lucy. I hope so. Don't forget, you feel cold, Henry. Oh, I feel so cold. Here, this should make you feel better. A pill? Who's that at the door? I don't see anyone. Oh, yeah. Uh, I guess I imagined it. it. Must be my sickness. Oh. Try and relax, Henry. I'll be back as soon as the other doctor arrives. Let me have it. Here, it's for Mrs. Little. Get some water, Lucy. Helen's got to take this pill. Let's see. Helen weighs two ounces, and Henry weighs about 75 pounds. 16 ounces to the pound makes 1,200 ounces divided by two equals... This should do it. He's in the examination room. Henry, the specialist is here. You know what the antidote is. I know he will. I'd like you to meet Dr. Hunter. Henry Big. Haven't I met you before? Where exactly were you when you inhaled this chemical? Uh, I was, uh... At the school, by the football field. At the school, by the football field. I see by the blood analysis that there's less than a tenth of a milligram of poison in your blood. Yeah, I told them I breathed the chemical. I'm real sick. A tenth of a milligram of that chemical couldn't possibly make you sick. But I am sick. <coughs> Dr. Hunter, what about the antidote? Uh, yes, well, uh, I've got to run some tests first. Peterson. Yes, Dr. Hunter. Bring me the equipment. Dr. Lamont, please come to room 107. You'll have to excuse me, Dr. Hunter. But, Doctor! Well, Henry Pig, we meet again. Huh? Perhaps you don't remember my searching your bedroom for mice? Or that time at the excavation site? Uh, I'm sick. I'll tell you what, you're faking. Wh what are you doing? There isn't enough poison in your blood sample to harm you, but more than enough to paralyze someone who's three inches tall. He's on to us! We've got to get Tom and Dinky back before Hunter finds them. Now, where are you hiding this sick little friend of yours? But I need the antidote. I'm very sick. Are you sure you don't want just a little bit of antidote? Henry, keep him busy while I slide down the tube. Oh, my throat. I need some water. What's this doing here? Uh, I don't know. Dr. Hunter, I was getting some readings outside. Never mind. Check out this room. We've got to get out of here before Hunter finds us all. 
I'm afraid she's right. There's no chance of getting an antidote now. But what about my antidote? Don't worry. There's more than enough, if you need it. Did you hear that? He's got the antidote! Yeah, but going out there to get it is awful dangerous. In that case, I'll go. Me too. We caused the trouble in the first place, so we ought to fix it. Just a minute there. This job's too delicate for you two. It needs someone with more experience and cunning. Flattery will get you nowhere, Grandpa. Who's talking about you? I'm gonna go. And you're coming with me. No way! I'm not going out there again. It's dangerous. Dinky! Then again, it's dangerous in here, too. Now the signal's coming from the sink. Duck! <laughs> This is no time to play Santa Claus, you fuzzhead. Oh no, he's getting closer. Grandpa and Dinky are gonna get caught. There's something behind these supplies. Just trying to find my uh, uh, bottle of antidote. Hey, where is it? I I don't know. <coughs> it's okay, Henry. Mom's gonna be fine. Henry, where are you going? Gee, I guess Dr. Hunter was right. That chemical didn't hurt me. I guess I ate too much pizza and soda for lunch. Thanks, Dr. Motley. I feel better already. I'm so glad you're gonna be okay, Mom. Me too. And I promise we'll never do anything again without thinking how it will affect others. I know you will, Tom. Thanks. Gosh, I love happy endings. I know what you mean, Dinky. There's only one thing that can make me happier right now. Yeah? What's that, Grandpa Little? Getting your foot off my toe, you numb skull. Oh, you squashed my corns. Oh, 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 oh. oh my back. Quick, call a doctor. Dinky, oh. <laughs> we were looking for you everywhere. I'm creating the stringophone, Grandpa. The stringophone? A telephone. We just insert each end of the string into these paper cups and pull tight. Stay here, Grandpa Little. You'll be surprised. It works. Obviously it works. I told you, Grandpa, I am a genius.